So in really short terms, the double undercut is basically just the easiest control that I know. Uh, if you're a beginner magician and you're wanting to get into how to control a card from one place to another, this is literally the easiest control that I know. And I'll give you some pointers at the end of the video so how you can do it even better and not just the mechanics of this move. So let's say that the spectator selected a card, the King of Hearts, and now you've lost it somewhere in the middle of the deck. So we don't know quite where it is, we just know somewhere it's somewhere in the middle. And as you're talking, you would do this double undercut, uh, and then you, their card would be back on the top of the deck. So it, clearly it's an easy move. Now how can you make it so that way it's invisible? So we'll get to that at the end, as I said before, so let's get to how you actually do the move. So what I like to do is, once the card is selected, I dribble the cards back on top, and I use the same form as I do during the Anaconda to do my dribble. So if you don't know how to do the Anaconda, uh, I'll leave a um, link at the top of the screen and down in the description so you guys can learn that move. But it's the same mechanics that I use in that move to do my dribble. So I do the dribble, but I dribble it instead of dribbling it straight on top. I start by dribbling it here, and then I dribble forward. That way it looks like it's all covered up, but it helps me get my break easier. So I start dribbling back here, and then I dribble to the front. So you have this out here. You're just going to take your thumb, put under here, underneath that back one, and push forward, which helps you keep that break, which is where your pinky is going to go. So you have your pinky break back here, and now you're all set. And to make sure they don't catch that break at the front, you just take your index finger and pull down, and use your thumb and push down as well. And you don't want much of your pinky in there, like you don't want to put your entire pinky in there. That will be very obvious that you have a break. So just take a very small portion of the skin, put it in there, and you'll be all set. Another thing that helps with this is moving your hand around. Uh, I think Alex Pantrea did a video on this about a week ago, but the, when you move your hand around, it's hard to see that break because you're moving your hand around. If I go like this, that's going to be obvious. If I do this, it's less obvious, and if I'm going like this, that's even less obvious that I have a break. So, move your hand around, then as you're talking, make sure you're looking up at them, because when you look down at the cards, the spectator looks down at the cards. People want to make eye contact with you, because it's a polite thing to do, it's how we're all raised. You make eye contact when someone's making eye contact with you. So you look up at them, and that's when you do the move, and it looks like you're just shuffling up the cards, and you're all set. So, the card is right here, we're going to have it left in the middle. So, we do the quick dribble, catch our break. We're talking to them, and what you're going to do is, because you're here in your mechanics grip here, but you're going to come over with your right hand, and you're going to come with your thumb on the bottom, and then your middle and ring on top. You're going to move your index finger out of the way, and you're just going to contact the top packet and half of the bottom packet. So technically you could contact the whole thing, but it's going to make it easier this way. And all you're going to do is with your left hand, you're going to break off with your ring pinky and middle fingers, you're just going to break this off, and the left hand is now contacting it with this pad of your of your hand, and you're just going to set this on top, and then break at where you have the break, and break that there. Now I kept that break with just a thumb break in the back, so it was here, and when I came over the top, I kept that break in the back right here like this, so that way I could break it off halfway, set it on top, halfway set it on top and you're good. Your card is now back on top. So now I've taught you how you're going to, so the card has been selected, you lost it by dribbling it in the back, catch your break, talk while you're going, and double undercut. But make sure you are looking up at them because when you're looking up at them, they're not looking down at the cards. As soon as you look down, they get the hint they, they are supposed to look down. Now this can be used in tons and tons of ways for misdirection. Your eyes control where they look in so many cases. Shin Lim is amazing at this. Where he looks left, everyone looks left, and his right hand does, a, does some sort of charlier cut or ditches something. It's beautiful work. Make sure you use your eyes to communicate what you want the spectator to do without telling them that's what they should do. And then once you have their card at the top, there are so many things that you can do. You can go into a color change. So let's say uh, you wanted to do a double lift. So of course now this card is second from the top and you can do a paintbrush change or an urnase change. Or if you just wanted to keep it one, you want to keep it here, 
you can just bury in the bury it in the deck, do another control, and then you have the start of your ACR, your ambitious card trick routine. Uh, all these things that I've been talking about, so I'll leave a color change and card controls playlist at the bottom in the description so you guys can get more of those if you're wanting to do it. So just a quick one so you guys get the idea. Uh, let's say you did a double lift, which I have a tutorial on as well, and you're going to do an Erdenace change. So you have your card here, then you just wave it over. It's now their card. They're amazed. They don't know how it happened. You turn the card over. You can go into your ambitious card trick routine by taking their card, putting it in the middle, and once again on top of the deck. So you can go take these two and work them into each other beautifully, and it works every single time. Now, if you want to learn all these moves, go down to the description, like I said before. If you guys did like this tutorial, smash that like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when every video drops, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And don't forget, you can pick this up for 15% off in the description below. Love you guys. This is Card Perfect. signing off.